Hello, Ryan here with In Position Technologies, and today we're going to be talking about Parker Hannifin's new machine controller. The Parker Automation Controller, also known as the PAC for short, combines advanced logic, signal handling, multi axis motion, and visualization into one performance driven solution. Basically, the PAC is a mixture of a motion controller, a PLC, and a graphical user interface that provides the user with a flexible solution. Part of what makes the PAC so flexible is the suite of communication protocols it boasts, one of which we will be demoing in this video today. The following video demonstrates the Parker Automation Controller's communication protocols, and it will show the position of an ETH actuator being sent over the Modbus protocol to a universal robot, all of which will be triggered from the Embedded Express visualization software. Right now we're looking at the initial panel of the Embedded Express visualization software. I'll go ahead and hit start button and it brings us to the control panel. From there I can home the ETH. You can see the ETH is homing when I hit the button. Next, I will home the universal robot, which positions it over the ETH actuator, and from there I can start motion. When I start motion, the robot will go into its conveyor tracking mode, and right now positional information is actually being sent from the ETH to the universal robot. If you look here on the screen, you can see the position of the UR in encoder counts, and that position can also be seen in the next screen. See position in, and you can see the position moving as well as the robot moving. Next, I can go ahead and lower the position of the universal robot. And finally, I can go ahead and grab the cap. Universal robot will wait for the position to sync with the ETH actuator. It will then start conveyor tracking mode again and place the cap back on to the rod eye. That does it for this video. For a more detailed walkthrough of how to set up the pack with the Universal robot over the Modbus protocol, please follow the attached walkthrough guide. 